Hey, what's up? Pardon all the noise in the background outside. A little bit later than usual, it's actually 5 o'clock in the evening on May 6, 2020. Just got my email for 7.3 Des Moines, which was supposed to be June 21st, 2020, but thanks to the good old coronavirus, it's no longer June 1st, 2020. Uh, for me, it would have been about a three, three and a half hour drive. I was planning on going probably early Friday. I think the race is on a Sunday, maybe. So maybe early Saturday morning driving up, checking in, finding a place, doing the race Sunday, and then driving back Sunday night. So I'd have been gone just over a weekend. Uh, hi, Kirby. Surprise. I thought they would make it last year. Like, they'll see. Yeah, so, um, so yeah, they came out with all their options, which they rescheduled it to October 4th of 2020 which I looked up the weather at that point in time actually didn't look horrible um, if you look back last year around this time there was a day of there was a high of 54 degrees a low of 40 and the next day it was like high of 72 so I think you'll get pretty lucky with the weather um, that time of year uh, October 4th problem for me was I signed up for 70.3 Memphis that is October 3rd I believe Maybe I was crazy enough I could do, hey, maybe maybe that would be a challenge. Go drive down, do Memphis, and then after Memphis is done, drive up to Des Moines and do Des Moines the next day. So what is that, like the, the I, it's not the I-35 challenge. I don't know what kind of goofy challenge that would be, but so that kind of hosed me. So now I have to consider, um, you know, I had a, at Ironman Tulsa at uh, 750 Des Moines. Uh, both of those are now kind of wiped out. It's looking like I'm going to have to probably do Des Moines in 2021. Um, you know, if I didn't have Memphis 70.3 on the exact same weekend, which I don't quite understand. I know there's all kinds of other politics and all this other jack behind it of why they picked that day for a reschedule, but um, that's kind of a huge kind of kick in the butt for everybody who was signed up for Des Moines 70.3. I mean, it was sold out. And it's a North American Championship, so I'm sure they're eager to try to get it in for 2020. So I think that personally kind of sucks for me. Um, probably won't be doing it for the inaugural year. You know, it's like I said, a three and a half hour drive. It's been perfect um, ever since they got rid of uh, 7.2 Kansas. It was in Lawrence, Kansas, which is like a 30 minute drive. So that kind of sucks. Uh, but like I said, I looked it up. I mean, if you don't have a conflict, the weather actually looks pretty doable um, you know you could get a cold day um, but kind of historically the averages around that time in October are 66 so it actually could be a pretty good I mean probably hopefully wetsuit legal um, so you can get that uh, sweater in full sleeve but you know at the very tail end it still gets warm in September in the Midwest so I mean the water is still you know 60s would be pretty doable um, you know and personally, I race better in cooler temps anyway, so, um, yeah, I think that date would have worked for me as far as racing, but like I said, I'm already booked up, and there are a lot of people, I think, booked up for 70.3 Des Moines, or, uh, Tulsa, or Memphis on that same weekend. So that was kind of a kick in the shorts to have a big race like that. You know, the first Des Moines 70.3 scheduled on the same weekend as the first 70.3 in Memphis. So I think you're gonna have a lot of conflicts. They'll probably have to open it back up for register. Well, it might be good for them, open up for registration for the people. So all the other races they they had, I I'm not in a point where I can swing flying to some race. Um, I can't swing. The, there's races the weekend before. The one that only really worked was like 70.3 Texas, uh, November 22nd. But I don't feel like driving for 12 hours for 70.3 this point and like I said I'm flying is kind of out of budget for this year I've already taken a hit in the shorts for that one so this is kind of interesting to see October 4th uh, lumped right on top of another big inaugural 70.3 that they just launched so um, you know I can't you know I want to say hey piss on Iron Man but I can't really because you know what are you going to do? You know, coronavirus shutting down stuff left and right. When we're trying to open the economy back and people don't want to open it, people do want to open it, whatever side of the fence you're on on that, I don't really care. But 
this there just there's no precedence for this mess whatsoever so um so if you want my take <clears throat> i would say if you don't have a conflict stay with the new date i think the weather i think you'll do pretty good at the beginning of october um you, you could have a random snowstorm <laughs> so i'm not going to say you know 100 you're going to be okay but i would I'd say the odds are in your favor for having a pretty good uh, race on October 4th up in Des Moines. Um, like I said, I'm personally, I wish I could make the date work because I think I race better in cooler temperatures. If you do have a conflict, you know, they provide, I think, eight other different races. Like I said, flying doesn't work for me. And then the only one that was like drivable. That oh, hey, we're back. Um, yeah, par for the course, my. Uh, live broadcast gets interrupted because of poor wireless signals kind of like a kick in the shorts of the whole triathlon race season but yeah to summarize if uh, the new day for Des Moines 70.3 works for you on October 4th I think weather wise I think you'll be okay um, but if it doesn't work uh, you know they have eight other options and you can switch over like probably what I'll end up doing is basically just chuck the whole first half of 2020 race schedule into 2021 so I'm already deferred to Tulsa 2021 so I'll probably defer to 2021 for 7.3 Des Moines so it'll be another busy spring of 2021 so hopefully you know we kind of get to a quote new normal and these races start happening soon uh, otherwise basically you just shove all of the races into 2021 but um, so yeah I think the new date if it works for you of October 4th, go for it. Uh, personally, it doesn't work for me because I'm already signed up for Memphis 70.3. So, if you got any questions or anything, like I said, I was, I was pumped up to race it. Um, it was going to be a great, you know, three and a half hour drive away from here. Perfect, I think, condition, perfect uh, race venue. Um, but, yeah, I think it was kind of a kick in the shorts. They do it on the same weekend as Memphis 70.3, which I'm already signed up for. So, if you have any other thoughts, put them in the comments. Love to talk to you guys later. Hopefully uh, that's it for the pain and anguish of uh, 2020 triathlon race season, <laughs> but probably not. We'll talk to you later.